Hello, welcome to Ask Ms. Mears, where we answer your most burning questions and solve your most nagging problems. I won't know, always know the answer, but I'll know someone who will. Six months into quarantine, what does your home look like now? With everyone working from home, the kids homeschooling, the absence of help, the lack of adequate space, and more importantly, personal space, plus everyone at home getting in our faces, we've probably amassed a good deal of clutter, made a bit of a mess, which adds to all the stress. I know I have because I now live in Kalat City. Here to help us clear things up, literally, hopefully, is interior stylist and online design consultant, Camille Besinga, also known as Gal at Home, which is also the name of her design studio, website, and social media accounts. Hi, Camille. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Uh, surviving. <laughs> surviving. Camille yeah. made it to our show just in the nick of time yeah. because he was actually at work at a showroom. Yeah. Yeah, so, I had to, I had to do an on-site job. <laughs> how have things been? So you've been an interior designer now for five years. Yeah, since 2015, since I left Cosmo. <laughs> yes, where we were and, together. Yeah, and um, I've I've focused on residential interiors because it, that's the reason why I got into this profession. It's because I really love going into other people's houses and, you know, <laughs> making oh, say what's, a, what's going on in their houses, how they fix their homes. It, that really fascinates me because people are very, I don't know, they, they come up with such unique ways of making their homes uh, work for them. And I guess that's also the thing, the, the value that I like to give to my clients is to help them find out what, uh, what features their homes may have that we can, you know, highlight and emphasize and to really make it work for how they live in their homes. Right. And especially now, uh, there's such a need for what you call home styling. There's such a need yeah. to refresh our homes because of yeah. all the challenging scenarios that we have at home, which hopefully... Uh, you will address later. You you've also uh, kind of pioneered, or at least you're the first one I know of in doing e design, where you actually help clients <laughs> virtually. You want to tell us about that, and you have clients all over the world. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, well, I wouldn't say I'm a pioneer. Um, actually, it's it's been well in the Western Hemisphere. It's been going on for quite a few years already, but it's just slowly. It was slowly catching on here locally, um, although with some of the people in my, within my network, a lot of them were really not, they felt that the market wasn't ready, you know, because um, a lot of Filipinos aren't um, as, uh, I guess, digitally prepared. So even if we all have mobile phones, I mean, Lazada and Shopee, they only caught on in the last couple of years. And so not a lot of people are confident about, you know, making transactions online, getting services online. So it was really the pandemic that forced everyone, of course, right. to go online and to work with people. But there's no choice. But I mean, you don't want right. to do face-to-face -face work, but you need help. So um, I'm happy that I was actually last year, I was really wanting, I really wanted to transition fully online in 2020 so i was slowly preparing for e-design and i was thinking Panga, that i should you know do half e-design half right you know right. in person one-on-one -on -one servicing but um voila it just you know forced me to you know rush my launch and um offer my services and yeah so i've had um clients from germany from canada from the u.s Australia. So that's, that, you know, that's really encouraging to know that there are people who seek me out. I mean, they find me on Google and then um, they seek my help. So even if I can't be there for them, at least in a little way, I help give them direction for what they need to do in their homes. Wow, you must have very good SEO if uh, <laughs> you are Google. Yeah, more. actually, I do. I, do um, I, I asked help from one of uh, our Cosmo editors, Samantha. She's uh, she's now working in Singapore, 
Um, and I asked her for help because we used to work together in a marketing right. in a digital right. marketing agency. So um, I asked her for SEO help with my website. That was last year. We started right. in April. Because last year she told me you don't appear at all in Google. It's like you're wow. non-existent. Okay. So um, she just gave me some tips on how to do it and. Yeah, and now people are finding me. In fact, but the client that I came from earlier today found me on Google. So I shall be calling Samantha Vance. Yes, you should. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it work when you say you do e-design? Like, do do the clients uh, video or are you you go live with a client and then they do a house tour? Yeah, uh, so we initially start with an online consult. So it's um, <coughs> they they I give them a link to Google Meet or Zoom, and then they just give me a virtual walkthrough of their house. And um, it's it's just sixty minutes, so we can only discuss so much. But um, they they tell me what their problems are, so that's why I do it room by room. So if they tell me that, for example, their living room is too cluttered or they can't really separate their kids. Um, spaces with their with adult spaces things like that or lately i've had um several inquiries or, or consults already where they don't know where to place their home office i have some teachers who told me they don't want their background to be uh their bed so i have i've had to you know lo help them locate a work desk for them and make their backgrounds nice so those are the kinds of consults that I've had. And um, sometimes I already give them recommendations during the consult. Like uh, I already tell them where to position the table, the dining table, or um, they can put like a shelf here for their kids' um, toys, things like that. Or even color if they want to change the paint of their walls. So we also do that. Uh, I, I give them, we go through my paint decks or we go through Pinterest. Since it's online, wow. we go through Pinterest, we look at color palettes together. So, yeah, so it's, it's been very, it's actually been very um, helpful for me because I'm, you know, I feel like I'm really using my brain and thinking right, of um, right. suggestions for them. Right. And um, to them, it's helpful because, you know, they, they go into the call and they really don't know what to do. I mean, I'm sure they've, you know, they've gone through Pinterest numerous times, but um it's just like all those ideas that they don't know how to implement in their homes. And I tell them what exactly what to do. So I right. guess that's been helpful for them. The wonders of technology. I would be yeah. very <laughs> embarrassed to take you on a tour <laughs> of my very mahal place right now. You know, my house is as messy. <laughs> and, you know, I have children. So the parang, you can just imagine. And, you know, we haven't renovated our house in... Five years, actually. So, <laughs> so even like people tell me your house must be so nice, but um, no, it's not. It's also messy. So for me, with no children, makalat talaga ako. <laughs> <laughs> we have a celebrity comment oh, yeah. from Atom Araujo. <laughs> wow, hello. <laughs> but the first comment is a celebrity comment. I know. <laughs> And Atom actually is now living on his own. Maybe wow. Atom would like a virtual <laughs> design consultation. Yeah, let's do an <laughs> online consult. <laughs> Great. So uh, can you, first of all, tell us what is home styling and why do we need to do it? Okay, home styling is really more about um, knowing how to make, you know, meaningful arrangements in your home. Um, some people, they just think it's all furnishing, you know, as, as long as there's a chair, there's a table, that's it, that's fine. But home styling is more of making, um, coming up with a nice looking arrangement, for example, on a table that tells the story. So, um, if, for example, I'm a, uh, I'm, a, I'm a mom, so I have two kids and naturally the stories that um, I would like to tell of my family are pictures. So we have pictures in our house. Um, and then I personally love flowers. So um, I also have flowers um, right next to the pictures. So those are the things that you, you arrange them and uh, you make them, 
yun nga, parang you make, you give the viewer or whoever it is visiting your home or even yourself, you give, you give the viewer um, an idea of what your life is like. And that's what makes a home very personal, very um, homey. A lot of my clients say, when I ask them, what do you want to feel in your home? They're like, um, comfortable, homey, uh, warm, welcoming, and yeah. And as in all of them, like 100%, that's what they right. say. So, right. so it's, it's really in how you style your home and um, how you arrange those little things that, you know, some people tell me, I don't want to decorate because it's just, it's just added clutter. I mean, cluttered na nga, right. tas right. mo pa. But right. um, to me, it's, it's more than putting things on a table. It's really... Uh, Yun nga, parang giving them an idea of, or giving yourself an idea of what's important to you. And when you find that your home is uh, populated with such arrangements, meaningful arrangements, then it becomes more personal. It becomes more like you. And that's something that a lot of people don't see in their homes. To them, it's just a place you inhabit. So uh, if if the, if if you know if all you need is a table and a chair, then that's fine. You know you you can survive. But then like right now, everyone's at home and no one. Uh, everyone's really. Um, but then you're you're confronted with the fact that shucks, I only have a chair and a table. But <laughs> I don't feel at home in my own place. And it's those the way you style it. It's what make it feel more like home. You mentioned the word feel a lot. So what are yes. some of the feelings that uh, good home styling can make us feel, especially in this very uh, stressful situation? Um, I guess it, that's a very personal thing. Right, right. Um, but, you know, people, they like, when they're at home, but it's, it's, you want to... It's a it's a place for you to unwind, diba? Before. Before right. when we used to before. go out often. Yeah. <laughs> the house is just a place to unwind. So, you know, I'd get those parang uh I want it to be like a hotel, so it's like a getaway, ganyan. But now they're like twenty four seven at home. So parang really it's it's also a place where you can clear your mind. It's also a place where you feel relaxed when you're where right. you feel like um or at at some point, it's it also needs to be, be a place where you feel productive. So it's a very personal thing, the feeling word. But yeah, you know, what I mentioned earlier, um, they want it to be welcoming. They want it to be warm. Right. Those, you know, fuzzy, positive emotions that you want to feel in a place that you stay in, that you um, inhabit. But those are pretty common even right now. Uh, in 2020, when things have changed for everyone, but and those still are still very, um, uh, I guess, required for you. Right. Na when you're at home, it has to be something where you're relaxed, where you can right. calm yourself down. Right, which we need a lot of. So it's a mixture of fuzzy plus functional. <laughs> yes, Given exactly. That, diba, parang if. Let's say you're a big household and you don't have much space and everybody is working from home and everybody is online learning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's quite a big challenge. And I guess every bit of uh, home styling will help. And many are intimidated. Like sometimes do they ask you, hey, I don't want naman a magazine-worthy house or I don't want to win an award. Naman. Why do I have to do all this? Well, um, actually, it's not about some people. For them, it's it's really not about the you know award. I mean, like there are a lot of interior designers or interior design studios that really create award-winning design. That's not my focus. My focus is really to make your home, you know, as cliche as it sounds. I want your home to to be the place that you know, feels like you, reflects you, your personality, at the same time. It's a place that, you know, hugs you. And, you know, when you're feeling anxious, like I, you know, throughout the past several months, I've felt the anxiety. 
And I always turned, well, siguro that's also, you know, uh, unique to me because when I feel anxious, I end up fixing my house. Okay. So either I rearrange the sala or um, I put, I just like putting flowers or a plant somewhere just so to cheer me up. And a lot of people don't realize that, that fixing your home or styling your home will help with your mental well-being. Right. Because right. if everything beside you or in front of you is just cluttered, that also adds that weight to your mind right. and to your, right. you know, to your parang overall feeling. And once you clear everything and just fix it in a meaningful way, it and you see it, and you, for example, you're just, you know, you're working on your laptop, and then you just look there, and then you see a nice arrangement there at the side. It's parang, sarap ng feeling. Ang sarap, <laughs> sarap dun, ganyan. And, you know, that, you know, that those little things, those little things help right. with your mental well-being. Eh. So, that's, that's get, I, I guess that's been my focus for the past few months, is to tell people that, you know, styling isn't just some frivolous thing. Right. That you you do. I mean, oh nga, before it was a luxury, you know, to hire an interior designer and uh, have your house renovated. I mean, something that's something of pang mayaman yan, ganyan. But then, ako, it, even if you don't have a budget, uh, let's just, you, we don't need to go to SM and buy new stuff and new decor, right? But just even with your own things, if you have those and then let's arrange them in such a way that makes them look visually pleasing and helps add that those positive feeling words that you want to feel in your space, then that will really be a big help in your own sense of well-being. So that answers Atom's que uh, question here. I can't afford her. <laughs> 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 well, our expert says no matter that what your budget is, <laughs> zero budget, which we will do today. <laughs> so Thank Atom, you for doing my sales ready? talk for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, step number one in refreshing your home in five easy and free steps is <laughs> figure out how you want to feel in your space. Yes. So, um, when I say figure out how you want to feel in your space. It's it's always because parang people when they look at Pinterest, parang, oh, yung ganda, oh, yung ganda. Parang, and then they just pin and pin and pin without really um knowing uh for example in a particular room, in a dining room, you feel differently in a dining room versus your bedroom. And you have to be honest with yourself. What is a good feeling for me to feel in a dining room? I always start my um, consults, whether it was on-site before or online now. I always start my consults um, asking that. What do you want to feel in this room? And they're always stumped because it's something that people, parang akala ko batig yung ano lang, looks lang. Parang the looks, how we decorate your space has everything to do with how you feel. Right how you want to feel in a room. So, for example, in a bedroom, for me personally, I want my bedroom to be a place of calm and a place of peace. So I can't really assign an orange wall in there or like a pop art, you know, artwork on the wall. But that's, that's not going to give me that feeling of calm that I want in my bedroom. But in my dining room, if that's the place where I want to be more right. energetic, then... Um, then yeah, we can do an orange wall there or a red wall or pink wall or whatever, whatever it is, whatever color you like that makes you feel happy, then that's what we're going to put in the dining room. So those things, like you have to figure out first what feeling you want in a particular right. space, even if yes. it's just a corner. Like for example, I had a client before, um, she had a whole, she needed to put her home office in her bedroom. And her bedrooms, like they they had a designer work on their bedroom, ah. so their bedrooms like look hotel looking, ganyan. But she didn't want that feeling in her office, so we we carved out a corner where she can just you know feel. Because parang when you're in a hotel, parang it's just relaxing and sleepy, de ba? So we had to carve out a corner where she feels more productive. She doesn't feel sleepy. 
she doesn't feel tempted to lie down in the bed right. just to sit a few feet away from her. So, yeah, so it said, what do you want to feel in your home office corner? And, right. you know, she said, okay, I want to be productive. I want to be inspired. I want to be ganyan. So we had to put some, you know, photos what inspires you or like, uh, you know, some, some can be cliche like, um, do you want an inspirational quote on the wall? If that, if that will get you going, if that will give you the energy, then, then yes, let's go ahead and put it. I mean, I'm not here to tell you na I that's that's such a cliche trend, but that's so old na or like you know if you right. if you're the type of person that you like to put um love and whatever other um inspiring words on the wall, if that's your thing, then let's put it. Alam man, if it's your home anyway, you're not you're not going to. I mean, I I will shoot your I may shoot your home for my own portfolio, right. diba? But, parang it's your you're the one who's going to live there. So, so yes, figuring out right. how you want to feel is very important and should be the first step. Right. Let us uh, share mm. with them your you have like a checklist of uh, feelings. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Hang on. So, ah, yeah. so there, the first slide is the house you grew up in was ah, your yeah, mom's yeah. house, which had a yeah. Filipiniana style. I think most of us kind of grew up in a yeah. home like this, Actually, which is um, why I did not want to grow up in a Filipiniana <laughs> home. <laughs> Actually, you know this. This the the pictures that you're showing now. Those are actually the renovated space already. Um, oh, okay. That was um in 2012. Uh, before right. that, our house was in typical 80s, but but we had the vegan tiles. We had right, uh, right. those wooden windows, Kenyan. Right. And um, the the reason why I got into this job is because of my mom. She right. was, you know, she was the Madame home styler <laughs> for me like she 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 really had this way of you know you know our house wasn't immaculate you know it wasn't always clean but you know when she'd just go on a blitzkrieg like for example we have guests on a sunday on saturday she just you know with her army behind her they just be decorating everything and you're like whoa <laughs> She had that knack, and she didn't. She didn't have a degree. She she took up fine arts, but um, I guess at the their um during their time, interior design right. wasn't really a thing yet. Right, but right. she had that natural flair for styling right. the house that it made me feel so proud. And I would always get comments growing up, na parang your house. I love. I really love your house. Um, from the outside, palang you know, it looks nice inside, and when you enter, parang. And it's not it, it's not the magazine worthy kinda. We didn't right, own right. designer furniture. I mean, most of the furniture we had mga pinagawa lang sa mga kilala, ganyan, or something my mom bought from I don't know the Pitan or whatever. But uh, it was to me, it really uh, honed my sense of uh, home styling. Then, so I right. guess that's also why. But I want my own clients. To get that feeling, that kind of warm, fuzzy feeling that this is our house. Right. I mean, there was even a time when we were considering selling the house because, you know, we we're all grown up and my parents found it too big already. And I was like, no, don't sell the house because it would be like, parang it's such a, it's such a big part of my life. And right. I want my children to have that same feeling in our house, even if our house is so messy. I want them to have that same feeling and I want my clients and the people I reach through, for example, this webinar, to have that feeling also that their house is more than just a place they stay in. It's really right. a place that nurtures you, that cares for you, and that gives back to you. Right. So here's our list of feelings. Would you yes. like to explain? Yeah. So you need to um, determine how, how you want to feel when you're home at home. So right now, when you're just starting your home styling journey or just re simply refreshing your space, you need to figure out what do you feel when you're at home? Do you feel relaxed? Do you feel welcome, comfortable, inspired? These are the most common things that my clients tell me that they want to feel in their homes. Or do you feel the opposite? Do you feel stressed or restless? Do you always feel like, 
parang lumiko ka lang, may kailangan akong ayusin, parang gano'n. <laughs> or like, um, andyan na naman yung socks niya, no? Yung <laughs> ganyan. May hugot, may hugot ako. I hope he's not watching. <laughs> so those things, so parang, if, if those are the things you feel at home, then how can we reverse it? Or what's the opposite? Would the opposite feeling of the things you're feeling right now be the emotion that you want in your house or in a particular room. Right. Somebody yeah. actually is asking uh, yes. if you practice feng shui. Um, um, me, I don't. Uh, yeah. I Because feng shui is such a, like a large body of work that I am afraid to touch. Although, you know, in throughout the years, I've picked up a lot of things like wag dapat nakatapat yung bed sa door, mga ganon. Or yung when you're in a home office, you shouldn't be facing away from the door because, you know, right. that's bad luck or things like that. But there are some things about um, feng shui that are really very practical. Eh? Like, right. um... I can't really think right now because it's really not my expertise. But I do believe that feng shui is also rooted in very practical reasons. And if you practice feng shui, then that's that's totally fine. I mean, I can work with that. I mean, you can also you can also implement it in your house if you believe it. But if right. not, if you don't believe in feng shui, then that's okay also. If whatever works for you, then right. Ikaw dapat yung masusunod, kumbaga. Right. I guess what you do use are maybe the principles of color theory and the connection of colors with emotions. And yeah. What else? Uh, um, well, I, I'm more of, um, I'm a very, and this is, my husband is the one that pointed this out to me. I'm a very spatial person. He also spatial thinks it's special. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so it's special. Child, huh? <laughs> I'm a spatial. Parang I, my intelligence is very spatially oriented. Wow. Um, I can't say. Parang I'm always trying to figure out how to fix a particular arrangement in right. a in a you know in a kunyari, three by three foot um area. Right. Parang it's always like there is a better way of arranging these things. So that's. For me, that's the thing that I enjoy. One of the things that I enjoy the right. most in my job is creating those layouts, furniture layouts. I guess the magazine layouts also helped me before. But yeah. um, in, in spatial planning, there are some things you have to consider, like how far should the chair be from the wall? Or how, if, you, if there's a door in front of it, how far should the next piece of furniture be? Those things... Um, uh, for me, are very important in establishing, and this is in a way also related to feng shui. Um, it it helps you establish the flow of energy in a room. That's one of the things I like about feng shui. It explains the flow, the qi. That's right, what they call right. the qi. <clears throat> I'm not going to say anymore because I might I might say <laughs> the wrong thing. But um, but I like that about feng shui. Yung, flow of energy in a space because it really like if you enter a for example you enter a boxy room and all the furniture is just pushed against the wall there's just this void in the middle right that that is parang it becomes i don't know then people they think there's something wrong with this room pero parang <laughs> it works naman parang nakakakain naman kami dito or you know we sit here and we watch tv at the far end you know dance but, floor <laughs> Exactly. And then there, I have had clients. Um, I, I think I have a friend right now watching. She messaged, she messaged me. Um, she, she naman, parang she really wants everything um, against the wall because she does yoga. She has a small oh, bedroom. Okay. So but she does awesome. yoga and she wants to do it in the middle. And for me, if that works for you, then right. fine. Let's arrange. Right. We had a consult and I told her where she, going, where she needs to put her, her bureau, right. where she needs to put her desk. And then in the middle, that's where your yoga mat will be. And it functions. And in a way, the ener the flow of energy um, is attuned with her own lifestyle. Right. Wow. How hard is how hard is it to do that virtually? Like you can through <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, a virtual lens, you can actually estimate the space, or I guess. Well, I know. Guess you I mean, to have it done, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure. There are, you know, there are some things I, I really can't um, right. estimate when I'm, you know, in front of a computer or a tablet, and my my client is just, you know, he's <laughs> parang gulo gulo pa ng 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 camera. But I always tell them before if they can have a tape measure on hand. So right. I'll tell them, can you measure the space between the edge of the bed and the wall? So I know right. if if we can still put a sofa in there, ganyan. So they tell me that and they say, ah, it's it's about two meters. Pa ang layo pa pala, so we can still put ganyan. And then sometimes I I tell them to um get the feel of, for example, that they're thinking of buying a piece of furniture. Um, I tell them how to get a feel first of the bulk of the furniture. So if you have a box at home or like a balikbayan box or something or like a, ta- a small table that you can use for the meantime as a parang, just to, to give you that feeling, that 3D feeling, if there's a sofa here, right. would it feel bulky or would it, and then you measure out, you tape out the dimensions. If yes. Sometimes because we also look through websites, we also so look through um, online retail furniture stores, and um, we we pick already now what what can we get for that particular corner, and then I make them check the dimensions, and then can you use masking tape, tape it out in that area, and then put something above it just to give it some three D, some heft, and gives you an idea. Does it make the space feel masika, or does it make the is it okay to merbang walk space around it? So something like that. And um, those things are actually really very personal because right. there are some people who are okay with, for example, uh, just, give, just give you an example. Uh, the standard distance between a desk and a wall should be at the very least a meter. So 100 centimeters from the edge of the table and the wall behind you. So this is so you have um, more than enough space to move your chair, right? And uh, there are some people na parang kulang ng ano eh, like 70 lang or 80 lang, ganyan. <laughs> so parang 80 cm lang pa yan, hindi na pwede, ganyan. And I'm, I tell them, you, you sit there, parang you see, can you still pull your chair back? Hindi ka naman, um, hindi ka naman malaki. So uh, is it comfortable enough na nakakaalis ka? And if, if they say yes to that, then... There's no problem with putting your your table there, positioning your table there. If it if it addresses your function, your need, um, and it still gives you that same feeling, that feeling word that I was asking you to look for. If it answers that, then there's no problem. Even if you don't reach the standard, <laughs> the standards are there as a guide. Right. But um, you don't always have to follow it because. Again, living in a particular space is a very personal thing. It's something only you can answer. And I just right. help them figure out, or I, I just help them ask the right questions, kumbaga, in right. answering those things. Which is why we need to go to the spatial step number two. <laughs> <laughs> Audit your space. Yes, auditing the space. So, um, siguro this also... Uh, one of the things that I learned from our shared background, Mirza, are, yes. are being yeah. from a professional services auditing firm. Um, oh my gosh. Kami and I audit- both are alum- alumni of SGV. Yes. <laughs> and, and we weren't really auditors. <laughs> right. We were not. <laughs> well, I was um, a computer okay. programmer. <laughs> <laughs> And I was with marketing, so yes. <laughs> I guess um, you know auditing. That's that's where I learned the word audit when I was in SGV, and um, and I was uh, I was an editor back then, so I was editing mga mga management letters. You know, I don't right. if there are people watching who are auditors or who have read management letters from auditing firms. Ang ang galing eh, kasi parang you they they say na there. But then you outline the things that are not working in a company that is costing right. you money wow. and and you help them turn that around. And I guess parang in this profession in interior design and home styling, that also makes sense that process of first figuring out 
what are the problems in your space? Uh, what, what are the things that are currently working for you? And how do we highlight that? How do we emphasize that? So those, that's, those are the things that you need to find out when you audit your space. So even if it's just like a simple um, dresser, I'm, I'll, I have pictures later of a, a dresser that I worked on. Okay, oh, so yeah, let's start first with this question. Okay, first, first you of all, know, you can get a I free ask. audit worksheet from Camille. Uh, we're flashing the link, and I will also include the link in the comments below. Okay, the first okay. question you should ask is... Okay, so the first question you should, you should ask is, who uses this space and how will they impact your design and style choices? So this is a very important question to ask because... Every person who lives in a particular room will or should have um, a say in how the room is going to be fixed or styled. So, for example, I, our bedroom, while well, I'd like to say that it's just my and my husband's space, my kids co sleep, our kids co sleep with us. So, I still have to consider them in how I fix the space. And, you know, just the addition of my husband, I mean, for people who've lived together or who started living together, whether during this pandemic or before, you you see the impact of just one person in a space. Eh? Parang, um, I know of a friend who likes, uh, you know, her, she likes her own bathroom, right? And she has never shared the bathroom with someone. And then when her husband came along, and like, she's like, parang, okay. I'm so shocked. <laughs> At how people, other people use the bathroom. And it's like, okay. So, di ba parang, we had to figure out how they can use the space and still maintain the peace, right? And you add kids in the mix, and that changes everything. Like, in our house, um, we have a dresser. Later, you will see pictures of that really, really ugly dresser. Um, we have a dresser that's, actually, I built it high higher than normal because i know i mean i have experience as a child and i used to play with my mom's you know things on the dresser so i knew that my daughter would also do that so i placed it i you know i had it built a bit higher than normal but then they still you know they still get in there and then they put their stuff or they take our stuff so those things really impact how you design and how you style a particular right. space so no first who uses the space and understand how that will impact your style choices. Right. Next. The next is what are the things or pieces on or in it? So let's use um, uh, the the dresser as an example. No. So when when you have this particular, um, it's you know it's just a small dresser, but then uh, there if there are a lot of things in it, you really have to figure out. Ano ba yung mga laman nito? Bakit ba sila nandyan? Like, our dresser, you find out, I, did I include the pictures? Parang if, if there was a, for the longest time, there was an electric kettle in our dresser. And for a while, I just, you know, I just ignored it. But then I realized, we don't use it anymore. And parang, we used to use it pala because during the um, last year, diba, there was a water crisis. Oh. So our, our shower heater wouldn't work. That's why we had the kettle there. But then when the crisis was over, we just didn't take it out. And then it was right. just there. The, 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 the <laughs> so parang, those are things you need to audit them. You need to find out what are these right. things? Why are they there? Are they still needed? If not, then maybe it's time to take them out. So object by object audit pala ito. You have to... Well... <laughs> Marie Kondo, parang, there's are. a way there's a way there's a way of doing that na parang you know um right. uh, I I have a home styling course and I teach them how to do it it's it has to be done on autopilot and what you do is when you're clearing a space you have to um later I'll talk about it when we okay. go to the next step okay, okay. <laughs> next step a next question first is what will this space be used for so yeah, again, um, that is very personal to every person who's living there. Uh, for example, our dresser, what will this space be used for? For us, I don't use it anymore for makeup because all my makeup, kinuha lang ng mga bata. <laughs> 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 or like they play with it, right? So, um, 
so for us, the dresser is really just a toiletry station. And okay. at night, it's also our milk station. <laughs> like, they oh, like okay. drinking before bed, and we have it there. Um, and it's also my husband's landing station. So I have to figure out, like, how do I um, address all these functions in such a small space, but still make it look nice? Diba? Parang, those are things. And if, if these are functions that kahit anong ayos mo, paulit-ulit siya, like, before pinagbawalan ko na my husband to put things there and you know it just happens you know coins receipts keys oh my it God. always lands in that particular uh-huh. spot so parang i have to you know hello husband clearly <laughs> clearly this is like a natural space for him she just, just naturally clearly <laughs> gravitates to <laughs> the coins gravitate towards the dresser so um that's something that we have to address and the way we style it has to be styled in such a way na merong, merong saluhan ng coins. You know, those right, things. Right. So you have to understand what is the function first. Function so parang, for parang me. automatic na. Yeah, oo. And Hindi parang na kasi once na nakaayos na siya, tapos automatic, so, ah, ang galing! <laughs> ang galing ah, ng salun ng coins. Ganyan. So, yun ganun. Right. Next. Okay. What's wrong with this? <clears throat> okay. I started with the neg- negative first. Nega tayo. Nega. <laughs> I started with the nega first because um, yun, yung, ano, yun yung jarring for you. Eh. Yun yung things that you really notice at the very first. So for me, that dresser example, the, ver- the thing that was wrong with it is that it's like clutter central. Everyone just dumps things there. So how can we, how can I fix that? What's wrong with this? Pay? Why is it a dumpster? And then you start thinking, ano ba yung pattern ng mata when they enter the room? Is it really, is it really the first thing that they go to, or like you know those kinds of things? So what's wrong with the space? And then what are its negative features? Um, for me, uh, for example, a room that I have, it's too small, it's too narrow, or sometimes it faces the sunset. So paghapon sobrang inip, and hindi ako makarelax. Or like yung aircon ko dito, parang sobra siyang naghihingalo kasi sobrang init yung direction ng ano. So how can we address that? Or how can we fix the furniture in such a way na we can position it in the coolest part of the room? So those things, you have to figure out first what's wrong with it before you, fig- before you um, think of the things that are right about right. the space, which is the next question. Which is, <clears throat> sorry. I think that's a yeah. next question. Yes. <laughs> what are its positive features? So, so this comes after because um, this are, these are the things that you don't really notice. I mean, parang, um, more often than not, people immediately notice what's wrong with something. What's wrong with the space? Like, I don't like the door. Parang the door is really parang to be sobra siyang nakakainsulto ganyan or like the window or like the, the view outside the window sobrang panget ganyan ano lang yung katabing building parang that's the view and parang it's so hindi siya nakakatulong sa akin and claustrophobic ganyan but then you don't if you look at the positive features we also need to play those up or that will also help if we know the positive features that will also help give us a direction on how we design your space so what are the positive features? Okay, pa- pangit nga yung view, pero um, for some reason, maganda yung sunlight. Or um, pangit yung view sa window, pero gusto ko yung size ng room. And right. ma- mataas yung ceiling. So those things also help. Um, you know, just write them down if you... If you you can download the audit work the room audit worksheet that I shared with Mirza, um, and then just write down the positive features because it will right. also tell you. Now these are the things you need to highlight. The negative right. features are the things you need to downplay. I mean, you can't okay. if you can't renovate and you can't change them, that's fine. But we need to downplay them. Right. So it's it's like going through every area of your house and just listing your feelings. Like, how do I feel in this chair? Yeah. How do I feel in the kitchen? Or even the, the room audit worksheet, it, it okay, works it's all there. for such a small, for such a small, like I used it in my dresser when I fixed the dresser. Like, okay. it's such a small, you know, how many inches lang yun, square inches lang yung space na yun. But then I still used it, like, 
what are its negative features? Uh, it's a dump central. Um, what are its positive features? I like the blue wall. I like the the okay. height. I like that it's high enough or, you know, those things. And those are the things that I worked with when I fixed it. Right. Okay, next. And what then the next question is, what do you want this space to feel? Um, so, for example, for that dresser top, I wanted it, since it was right in front of our bed, so it's the first thing I see when I wake up. It's the last thing I see when I go to sleep. So um, because our bedroom doesn't really have a great view outside, I want it to have that sense of parang, I want to be looking at something beautiful. And we endured months, years of it being a cluttered thing. And I was always so stressed and anxious. But when oh, I wow. fixed it and I, I added <laughs> flowers and Magic. a lab, parang... Ah, sarap ng gising ko. <laughs> you know those things. So, parang, um, so yeah. So, what do you want that particular space? It's no, it's no longer just how you feel, how I want to feel in the room. It's more, ano yung gusto mong makita? Ano yung what do you want right. that particular space to feel? If it's a room, what do you want to feel in this space? So, if you right. want, to, if it's a bedroom and you want it to be more calming and relaxing, then maybe that abstract Jackson Pollock painting doesn't work. <laughs> or like um, that uh, pop art, I don't know, Andy Warhol. Or the scream. Um, will not or, yeah, or the scream. Baka that's not the right art for that. So, um, yeah, so those things right. really are addressed when you figure out what you want to feel. Because it could make or break your day, right? Yes, exactly. Is there something you can do in the kitchen so that I don't raid the entire fridge out of stress eating? Or oh my is gosh. That my own problem. <laughs> I, I need a psychologist to, <laughs> to help me answer that. <laughs> because that's also my problem, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> the junk food has to be under lock and key. I and know. You can buy something for that. Next. <laughs> okay. Does the space have any design constraints or restrictions? So, for example, um, what are the usual limitations? For example, the wall is made of gypsum or, um, you know, hardy flex. It's a drywall, and you can't really hang anything heavy. So, out na yung mga options natin of putting a wall cabinet, or um, if if we do need a wall cabinet in the space, then we need to reinforce the wall. Um, if it's, for example, yung example ko kanina na uh, west-facing room, um, we can't really change the position of the sun. So that will really affect the color of the room come sunset, diba? So really make the space feel reddish. So how do we address that? How do we change the color without um, with knowing the fact that, you know, it becomes reddish, orangey towards the afternoon? So those are the things that you also need to write down and... Um, Kasi once it's written down, parang sometimes just writing it down gives you that clarity na parang, okay, right. kailangan pala to. Parang kailangan pala natin i-address. Kaya pala hindi nag-work yung blue na paint. Kasi west-facing pala yung kwarto. So parang the the sun, the sunlight, just, you know, it um it models the blue color. So how what can we paint for this room that will work with the limitation that we have. Right. What if the space restriction is space itself? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> like, so, for example, I, I'm always amazed when I see these videos of yung mga, alam yung mga Hong Kong apartments, di ba? Ang galing nilang mag multi-use and then yeah, yung mga stuff na ganyan. drama, di ba? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> para, that's... Para I've seen rin a lot of uh, furniture for sale online that pops up on my feed na multi-use mga mga nagiging desk it's pero calling out to you <laughs> you can put it away <laughs> yeah yeah well yun parang that's also something you need to ano, like, if you feel like it's really the space that's then you know that you need um uh, a multi-purpose or a multi-functional piece it's you can't just buy a bed and that's it but yeah. you know that it's something that has to be folded. It has to be a Murphy bed. Or else, hindi mo magagamit ng maayos yung space. So, you know, those limitations will also direct how you proceed with fixing up your room. Right. Okay, let's go to step number three, the unavoidable. Oh, my God. <laughs> you will see That's the dress. My problem. <laughs> <laughs> 
There's no escaping so, it. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's really no escaping it. Like, I have clients who say na parang, um, uh, they, pwede ba bang i-renovate? Pwede ka bang gumawa ng cabinet? Ganyan, ganyan. And then I ask them, okay, but are you going to take out some of the stuff that's in here? It's parang sila, hindi, balak namin ipasok siya sa cabinet. <laughs> and they're like, no, parang, there's, you can't do that. But you you can make you can have as many cabinets. But if your house someone is full of cabinets, that will also <laughs> like I know someone who did that. She had so many cabinets made, and then now sobrang they don't know where to put their you know their table. They don't because it's parang puro cabinet. <laughs> wala nang wala nang space to move around in. And and the one of the things talaga that will help you is really to clear the clutter. And, right. you know, it's, it's, yeah, wala na ko masabi. <laughs> there you go. So it this is the dresser. Is so the dresser you're talking about with the yes. electric kettle? <laughs> yes, with the electric, you can see the electric kettle ah, there on the right, okay. right? Right. So that's a remnant of the water crisis of 2019. <laughs> um, and parang... I fixed this during quarantine. I started okay. when the, in March. I fixed this in March because parang, you know, you being at home and facing that and not, you know, knowing what was next, but it's really adding to my anxiety. And I said, yeah. this has got to stop, okay? I can't live <laughs> with this anymore. And then you see a... things there that shouldn't be there. There's a water Rubik's bottle. Cube, a sock. <laughs> <laughs> there are toys <laughs> and there are sobrang daming drawings ng anak ko, mga lost money, I mean, and even <laughs> bills. May mga bills pala na hindi nabuksan. <laughs> oh so those things, I, I can't fix that space if I don't clear the clutter. I mean, right. it's not, and this is, um, this is just like a microcosm of the rest of the life. house right? <laughs> of life, life. <laughs> like if you don't declutter if you feel like you just need to compare parang bili ka lang ng bili ng Dalagyan. there was a Lazada sale like, bili ka lang ng bili ng organizers ko no parang no the organizers will not help if you right. don't reduce the things that are there so that's why the room the room audit will help you or the space audit will help you um figure out Ano ba to? Kailangan ba talaga ng, ng kettle ngayon? <laughs> eh, may tubig na tayo. Nag-work na heater. So, hindi na siya kailangan dyan. Do we really need this big bag of, um, the, the, for example, that, that black and pink um, case there. That's like, that's my my pedicure, manicure stuff. Oh. So, parang, why is it there? Parang, I can keep it elsewhere. And then, there are toiletries there na ubus na pala. Yung mga ganon, mga things right. that, that naturally just gets left behind and right. you just don't mind them because of everyday life. But then, did I include pictures of the aftermath? Hindi, ganyan pa rin siya hanggang joke. Ay, ganyan pa rin. <laughs> <laughs> ganyan pa rin pala. Okay, well, there. And hindi na hindi na. Yes. Ayan. So, Ayan. there. So, uh, okay, I, sorry. Okay. So, there. So, um... Well, technically, this isn't really how I wanted to end up, but you know, I had to make do with what I had. I didn't want to buy anything new because it right. was in March, everything was uncertain. I didn't know if my money would run out. So, parang, I just had to make do with what I had. So, I really took everything out. It was like one, you know, one, two hours of just, no, one hour lang naman. <laughs> <Even> two hours. <laughs> one hour of like, you know, taking everything out and then really figuring out, okay, these need to go in a different room or in a different closet. These need to be thrown away already. These need to be given away. Sayang pa sila, pwede pa sila magamit. And then these need to, you know, need to stay. So those are the things. Right. What what things should stay in that space? What can be thrown away? What should be given away? Uh, and what belong, uh, what things belong in a different room or space? So that's right. what I did. So what, just one hour just segregating those things. And then I went back to the space and said, how do I want that feeling of may parang um, nice, beautiful view when I wake up? Um, or at night, when you turn on the lamp at night, it feels so nice. Parang there's like that, diba yung when you turn on a lamp, it gives like a positive, warm ambience. Right. So at night, that's our night lamp. Kasi the kids don't like sleeping in the dark. Eh. So we keep right. that lamp on. 
and you know it just you know gives that everything is clear and there's there's still space for um for you to put things in because that's that's inevitable you need surfaces talaga to park your things but then because it's already fixed parang i it reminds me that i have to organize or i have to remove the things that i put here or like segregate them every so often because i want to maintain the nice look of this um of our dresser and you know right. that 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 big caddy there that used to contain oh, sorry. um our toiletries a lot of the the junk that's my husband's you know landing <laughs> Landing okay. pot. Okay, so whatever he puts there, wala na kung pakailan. Yes, his coins and whatever. Whatever he puts there, wala na kung pakailan. I don't see it anyway. I only start, you know, telling him na parang ayusin mo na yan. <laughs> Kasi so, nakikita ko tumataas na. Nagpa-pile up na siya. And then I so, tell him na pakisort na yung mga resibo mo dyan. Ganyan. So asa na yung kettle na yun? <laughs> uh, we, we gave it away. Kasi it's really okay. ano na eh. It's just an old kettle eh. So parang... Okay. Extra na siya. Okay. Next is shop your home for things you can use. Okay, I wish my your... home had these things. <laughs> I wish my home had these things. This okay. isn't my, um. just to let everyone know, this is a stock photo. Okay. Um, but I felt like it has everything that um, I will include in a shopping list. So my shopping list always is when I'm looking for things to use or to decorate, um, this is my shopping list. So look for something uh, tall, uh, something sculptural, something organic, organically shaped, something reflective or metallic, something boxy, um, something flat like a tree, and something round. So those things um, will help you create those meaningful um, arrangements that I was telling you about that will help add to the mood of uh, the positive mood of any space and you don't need to um, go online and buy these things huh? Parang, right. there will be something in your in own your house. house yeah and when I when I do it for my clients I always ask them can I go through your stuff first right. before we shop because there's something and they always think Wala, wala akong, wala akong wala. Parang, hindi, parang, you don't know eh. Paminsan, like, it could be a toy. Like, I've used toys to decorate a space. Or it could be a memento from college. I don't know, something right. like that. And those are the things that that will make those arrangements more meaningful. Because they're, they're a reflection of your life. And, you know, you want to see more of that in your house. And, you know, if it... I mean, iba na if your life doesn't give you comfort, di ba? Pero parang those positive memories, those those um those things that make you happy, those are what we want to put in your arrangements. And you don't need to go shopping. Siyempre, it's always nice to go shopping, di ba? Right. But um, you start first with what you think, um, what you already have using these guidelines and that that um, I've uh, included here, like a tray, a flat thing, Horizontal, something horizontal, something tall or vertical, something round. At least those three first. And then, pwede nang sumunod yung something organic. Like, they, these organic things, they can be a plant. They can be, um, uh, kunyari, twigs from outside. If you see a dead branch, you know, I've done that many times. You know, I've seen a dead branch and parang, uy, maganda yung shape niya. So, kukunin ko and then I'll just clean it and, you know, use it as decor. Or something, for example, um, I have, you know, several clients who collect seashells. So, paminsan meron like mga parang, ano yung tawag doon? That, that shell, that conch shell. Conch. And na malaki. So that's an organic shape or a sculptural shape that you can use to decorate. For example, right. a shelf. Um, the metallic and the reflective thing, that's uh, more of adding something um, textural. Because uh, sometimes something reflective also helps brighten a space because it catches the light. So something metallic also makes it look visually interesting. 
Right. So where do you put the Last Supper and the giant spoon? <laughs> On the wall On the of wall. your mother's house, of not your yours. mother's house. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if it gives you joy, then yeah, fine. Why not? Okay, I'll work with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, is this tama ba? The last Pretty? step, yes. Okay, the last step. So our last step, and I, I think I've been, you know, after doing all the first four steps, you know, what were our first four steps? Figure out what you feel, what to feel in the space. The next is audit your space. Um, the third one is... Clear oh my the gosh. clutter. <laughs> oh, clear the clutter, right? <laughs> I forgot my oh, own no. steps. Clear the clutter. <laughs> and then the fourth one is to shop your own home. Yes. And then once you have... Like what I do, what I tell um, my my course students, because you know, I had a I have a home styling course about it. I tell my students and my clients. So you, you get like a bin or a box or a crate, and then just go around the house and just collect whatever you think is um something tall. Ah, this ano, this uh, book or like this frame is tall. Okay, fine. Or like a tray. So sometimes you have like you know, a collection pala of trays hiding somewhere. Or even kahit yung takip lang ng mga box, you can also use that as a tray. I mean, you know, pwede mo namang i-DIY, like paint it with something gold metallic paint, and that can already stand for a tray. Um, candles, those things, and then just collect them, pile them up in the bin. And then if you need to style a particular space, at least you already have your props on hand. Right. Just lay them there. And then, you know, just create the meaningful vignette. And what's, and you can see here, this is a picture of my daughter's um, nursery. Um, just for transparency, it doesn't look that way anymore. <laughs> um, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it used to, it, it looked that way for like a week. And then after like one week, Alana. <laughs> First of all, can you define vignette for them? Like, oh, does, yeah. it, does okay. vignette mean display or not necessarily? Um, a vignette is actually a literary term. Wait, I'm looking for my my código. <laughs> <laughs> a vignette is um an arrangement. It's, it's of... like it's a uh, if we're we're borrowing from the literary because I I am a lit major, so um oh. a vignette is a it's a literary um tool that writers use in um, creating a portrait of uh, a character's life, right? So right. Um, it's just describing in words what a character is like, what his life or her life is like. And, you know, that's that's the vignette in, in, uh, in stupid terms, okay? And how do we apply that in interior styling? Uh, vignettes are those little things. Like, again, a portrait of something about you and yes it's those arrangements that that say something about what you're like as a person am i am i a minimalist am i a bit sophisticated am i do i have children those things so the things that the pictures that you're seeing those are the meaningful vignettes the very personal vignettes that um say something about you and make your home a reflection of you, a positive reflection of you. So yeah, if can we go back to the first the first picture that you there for for example this one? Um, I didn't buy anything in fixing this. These are all things that I found, whether it's in different other rooms of the house or in my daughter's own room. So that um, that that wooden telephone that's actually mine. I had that before wow. uh, when I was. Um, when I, when, I, when I was a kid, like okay. when I was already in, actually when I was in Cosmo, I saw that in one of my sourcing trips. So I, I bought it and um, so now it's in her nursery. Well, I don't know where it is now, but um, I used it to style her nursery. Even the books that she has, you can use that to decorate. And you know what this little vignette says is that my daughter is a reader. And you know, sometimes we change the books that are on display depending on the flavor of the month um and then i also use her toys to decorate her bed or her bedside so um i didn't have to go shopping for that i just fix them in a nice way and then you know it encourages her like oh my my wooden vegetables are here so i'm gonna chop some vegetables Ganyan. so they were parang it 
it, the way you fix it is attuned to how she likes to play. But at right. the same time, it looks nice. And it, you know, parang she says, it, it prompted her to say, I love my room. So right. that's why she trashed it afterwards. Wow. <laughs> it's all the kalat in those two drawers there. <laughs> and there aren't just two drawers there. Okay. There are actually boxes pa under the bed. There are like wooden okay. crates there. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right. So what does this vignette say? And this oh, one, wow. man, this is actually my, my mom's office. Oh, wow. um, and she masculine. asked me to, uh, yeah, it does. Oh, well, because of all the wood. Um, but she, she likes that. She likes wood, heavy wood. Um, but she likes the mga scrolls, mga curly cues. That's like, okay, you see the brackets of the shelf. Right, she had right. those, um, particularly made for that. Um, but she asked me to help her just, you know, clear because my mom's like, she's a pack rat. So all the files. All the she prints out everything. She keeps them in oh, folders, wow. so it's all on the desk. And then I helped her organize it. So we organized her office supplies in a tray, which I got from the kitchen. And then I found that she has these um um boxes there by the side that we could put. You know, uh, she has cleaning stuff because mga sprays and stuff. We put them there in a box, and then it matches the tissue box. So we also put it there. So those things, sa parang you just need to go around the house. And, you know, you're lucky if you're in your parents' house where they have all the stuff because you can find such gems in <laughs> in their china cabinet or whatever that can be functional. There's some people who don't like you touching their stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that like plates can be repurposed as a lilagyan ng paper clips. Those things. So, parang, and you like that plate because it belonged to your grandmother. So that's right. another thing. That's another vignette that that can really remind you of a positive feeling. This one, naman is a bathroom. Uh, my client's bathroom. For this one, she, uh, we had to buy a shelf because she felt like the space beside the toilet was so big. So we bought a shelf, and then what do you? What do you normally do when you're in the bathroom? Just reading in the toilet or um because I think this is the guest bathroom, so parang um we want to make it uh access we want to make the amenities or the toiletries accessible for the guests. So we put her books there, we put a stash of uh a stack of towels, extra towels for the guests, and those things on the upper shelves, those are just from other parts of the house. We put the that's a succulent, we just put it there, it used to be in a different room. Um, there's also like um, beside the gold geometric thingy um, that's a, parang a glass and pitcher and a very na vintage and gold. So And I like that it had like a plant um, pattern on it. And it belonged to her mom. So she didn't, you know, these were things that were just in a box. And we put it there. It's used sometimes by guests as, um, you know, for mouthwash. So you can use the things in your house and in a different room and you know they they bring life to that to that space. Right. Uh, this one of mine is my office shelf. It's actually there behind me. Uh oh. I put all my design books there. Actually not all. I have a lot. So I just put the design books that I felt um the shelf could hold. <laughs> Um, and then I just fix it with things that I, I mean, I have, I'm an interior, I'm an interior stylist, so I have a lot of props at home. Okay. That's why my office is so cluttered. But I use that also when I'm fixing up, you know, surfaces like a shelf. The shelf is one of my favorite surfaces to style. And right. um, all of those things you see there are things that are very personal to me, like, the flowers, those are parang pearlescent flowers that I got from a trip to Cebu. And Cebu is, you know, that's where my family's from. So um, it's a special place for me. Uh, the bottles, the vintage bottles, that's uh, from one of my um, bangkal trips with my husband. <laughs> so parang, that's also, you know, parang, and it's also from a time that uh, I came from as a kid. So I recognize those, I, I, I think so, I recognize those bottles. So um, they also remind me. They give me a nostalgic feeling. Um, of course, those are the pictures of my children. All those things are very personal, and I didn't buy them all in one go. And that's what makes them very meaningful because the, each item there has a story to tell. 
Right. You also have an article on how to style a shelf. Yes. Or how to style shelves in your website. Yes. Uh, I actually have a freebie with it, with the, oh, within okay. that article. So you can download right. it and refer to it whenever. Okay. This one, Aman, this is um, a client's house. Um, the only thing we bought there was the bird candlestick. She likes mga woodland looking things. Um, but everything in there is from her house. So we just, you know, the plant that was in her balcony, so we put it there. And parang just, you know, it just changed the look. Parang just biglang, biglang nabuhay yung corner na yan with that book, with the books, and then the the plant. Yeah, and so, diba, parang it's just, it's just a portrait, a small portrait of your entire life. But then, you know, it's meaningful. And the way you arranged it, it really helps improve also your feeling in that space. Right. Okay, this one is... Okay, this is just an example of how home styling can really transform any space. Okay. So some people, they feel like, basta may functional, right. okay na yan. Okay, so, right. so I just need a chair, a lamp, and a table. That's it. I mean, you can live in a space like that. But if you go to the next picture, there. So now it's it looks entirely different. Um, it gives you an idea what kind of person is living in this space. What kind of person is using this space? And you see na maybe this person likes curling up on that chair to read a book because there's a bookshelf behind her. And, you know, the, the books are placed thoughtfully. You know, they, there's an arrangement going. There's a story with the arrangement. And um, perhaps she likes the color, the, the teal color or aqua. And um, maybe that's her favorite color. And bakit kaya? I mean, does it remind her of the sea or whatever, or a trip perhaps? Um, there's a picture of her and um, uh, a loved one. So I guess this person is taken. <laughs> <laughs> so those things, so some those little things and styling really um, has a big impact on how the space feels. Now right. this is, you know, I, I'm not saying that you you should decorate everything. But it just, you know, I just want to highlight the fact that when you fix a space and it tells a story about your life, it makes the space feel more you and more like the home you should have and not just the place right. you live in. Is there a way to be a minimalist and yet uh, have like a welcoming Yeah. Story? Actually, you know, there was um, a time when I was still writing for Summit. Uh, I went on a reliving shoot in um, Laguna and we went to this house that was so minimalist, but it was so, and I'm not a minimalist person. I'm a very eclectic kind of person. Right. And the house was so beautiful. The way that it, that it was a couple that lived there and the way that they fixed their home was so thoughtful. I mean, you know, every, every detail, Talagang pinag-isipan nila na parang we don't want to put a drop lamp anymore. We want the ceilings. As in, it was so minimalist. Wow. That it almost converted me to minimalist. Na parang, <laughs> so gusto ko rin. Gusto ko rin ng ganitong space. Kasi, yun eh, parang but, there but was... How was it not clinical or cold or um, like a jail I guess, cell? I guess it was also because um, of what they were telling me how they wanted to feel in the space. Okay. I mean, they both work in the CBD and the house was really an escape for them. And the way that they were describing to me na parang, uh, again, this is very personal. It should be a right, personal right, thing. Right. It's, a, it's a, you're, not, you're not fixing your house to please your guests. Right. You're fixing your house to please yourself. So um, when they were explaining to me now, we really went for a minimalist look because we're stuck in traffic. Uh, we work, they, they were, an, uh, I think the guy was an IT professional and parang, you know, all those, the data and the figures the and the computers. Yeah, and the, yeah, the stimuli, parang when we get home, we just want a blank slate and the way that they fix it. So e everything, even a pillow, parang, Talagang pinag-iisipin lang, bibili ba tayo ng throw pillow? Parang, does this affect? Sobrang ganun ka thoughtful yung the way that they fix it. Na it was really, parang, even if I'm not a minimalist, I felt, I felt at home. 
because right. that's what they wanted it. That's what right. they created for themselves. And they and they they were free to spend on like they both like coffee, so they spent on mm-hmm. uh uh, parang a barista set or whatever, whatever you call that, mga French press thing or so parang lumabas lalo yung mga interest nila kasi it right. was such a thoughtfully done minimalist space. It almost converted me. I can, I won't forever forget that house. <laughs> house. So you can create a minimalist vignette. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, can. Here's um, the nothing beside the nothing beside the nothing. <laughs> Siyempre <laughs> kasi, for example, the rendering that I showed earlier, right, right. Um, that's not really minimalist because the shape not, of the chair oh, is okay. not a minimalist chair. Parang right. the shape of the chair begs to be comfortable. Yeah. You know, the, right, all the right. curves. Eh. But if it were a minimalist chair, for example, if it were a designer lounge chair, na talagang its shape is very modern and very, you know, um, that in itself can stand alone. So, wow. you know, parang if you're a minimalist and you want that, then go for it, diba? It's a one-piece vignette. So we have some yes. of your before and after. These are all uh, your work for your clients? Yes, yes. Okay, so... Um, this one is a studio which the placement of the bed was wrong. Um, and this is what I was telling you earlier about na merong parang void in the middle. Right. Uh, there's just like... Uh, big space in the middle. Like, what are you doing in that big space? So, parang I feel like we need to rearrange me- rearrange it. So, the after shot is this one. So, I couldn't get that. I couldn't find the wider shot. But right. we but changed we the, the orientation. In the yes, we put the bed um, paganan siya. It's uh, perpendicular to the wall. And um, the desk is in a much better position because before, nasisila siya sa window because his desk was right in front. But now the light is to the side, and you know it makes you know, it, it lessens the eye strain. Um, and we were able to fix it, arrange it with things that we didn't even shop for anything for this. Um, the only thing that I brought in here was the vase, and okay. then the even the leaf cuttings. So those came from my, you know, my own plants. <laughs> so parang. Everything, those are all his things. And we just arranged it in a nicer way. And, you know, right. he loves it. And until now, he still fixes it that way. I think the vintage fan really yeah. makes a whole vignette. Before, it was just in a corner, in a corner uh, of the living room. Okay. And it was, so, I, he didn't even use it often. So, parang now, right. it's like there. It kind of pulls the whole thing together. Yeah, yeah. Way, focal point. Next. Mm. Okay, this is um, oh, yeah. my client's guest room. My client is, um, she's a young professional, but um, her parents who live abroad, they sometimes stay with her. So this is their parang guest, uh, their bedroom when they're in the Philippines. So that painting was a requirement of her mom. Oh. And it's such a, like, a big, heavy painting. I right. mean, she 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 already bought the bed to make it look very contemporary and soft and light, but then right. parang she still feels heavy in the room. So what we did, well, for this one we bought na new stuff. So okay. the after shot is um yeah we just added throw pillows. Actually, those are the things lang that we added the throw pillows. Um, we just made I got I pulled some of the brighter colors from the painting, okay. and scattered them throughout the room so the aqua pillows and the red pillows so it kind of pulls everything together brightens the space lessens the heavy feeling i mean you can see in the side you already have existing dark wooden furniture so i just wanted to lighten things up so just even just pillows throw pillows those are a designer's best friend it's so easy i mean they can get expensive not today but you know you can buy throw pillows from somewhere cheap and they, they really change the look of any, any room. So the carpet was also the same given? Yeah. Which... yeah. Actually, so maybe... we bought the carpet, but then parang, because um, the, we were first thinking of something brighter, but then parang I felt like it's such a big piece, eh, the rug. Parang if it's bright, parang baka masyado ng, mm-hmm. yun, masyado ng OA. So <laughs> I didn't want to make it because it's 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 her parents who will stay here. Oh right. So I didn't right. want to make it too much of a departure from the style that they're used to. But right. since it's 
the daughter's house, the daughter's condo, then, and she wanted to inject a bit of, you know, right. energy into the space. So the pillows so, so, really help. So many considerations of feelings. <laughs> yeah, fee- it's always feelings, you know. <laughs> feelings are important. <laughs> Next. This one is um, a bedroom. Uh, really didn't have anything in it. Well, she was really waiting for me to style it. So she didn't want, she didn't buy anything yet. But, you know, I didn't buy bed sheets anymore. Those were her bed sheets. We just had um, bedside table added and an armchair and a rug. So you can see that in the next. Um, wow. So there, a far cry. We, yeah, we added the rug. Um the the armchair we bought that from i think habitat if i remember right. and it was a it in the when we lo, when we we didn't see the chair in person eh? we just bought it from the site when when i was looking at it in the catalog it wasn't it wasn't purple it was okay. it, i i thought it was parang gray and then when it came and then the it's you know lilac and said and she said parang off siya ganyan so what i did was i just put a purple pillow on the bed purple flowers on the other side and you know okay na siya parang it just you know th- repeating the color makes oh, it more cohesive it's like a happy mistake yeah oh something like yeah. that although she act- well, actually it was i who noticed the mistake parang sa kanya i love the chair it's so nice okay. then nakita ko parang teka lang hindi pala siya gray but the contrast really uh, brightened up the whole place. Yeah, exactly. In which is her personality then. Okay. Mm. Next. And then this is a ba- uh, well, obviously it's a bathroom. Um, <laughs> but um, Daming, the, the, the girl who owns this, has a, she has a lot of beauty products. So they were all like, you know, all over the sink and all over the shelves, ganyan. So we, um, well, I styled it in a way for that. It's a very minimalist um, way of styling it. But um, so this was parang for, kunyari, to make the bathroom. Because this is also the guest bathroom. Eh? When she has guests over, this is the one that they use. So parang this is like an option on how to style it if you don't want them to see the, uh, the toiletry. So we kept it, it in all the, <laughs> the, the cabinets. We made use. Of course, that her I sink said. came with the uh, drawers and cabinets. Oh. So, I said, "We can use it." But then, um, I also fixed it after after um, showing her how to fix it for guests, make it guest ready. We also fixed na nandun na yung toilet piece niya. Na parang just make it look. Um, parang I just gave her some tips on how to make it look more organized, like yung height ng mga bottles, sa nagento, just lagi. Pahingahin mo itong shelves na ito na onte, lagyan natin ng plant, gano'n. I don't have a picture of that na, but... <laughs> okay, this is a living room um, that red... She bought the sofa and the pillows, but then she she had that red cabinet beside it, which was... Um, which belonged to her parents, and they didn't want her to give away. Is it so like I a, had, a chest? Parang it's oh, a Chinese, oh. yeah, it's a, ch- a small Chinese, um, it's a cabinet eh. I don't know what it's called. Okay. But um, it's actually wow. a very pretty piece. But I needed to um, incorporate it in the space. So uh, those, um, she already she likes blue and gray, obviously, but then the red was really off for her. So one way of uh, making it... Um, look more part of the space was to add the red pillows again pillows right. such a cheap way of you know refreshing a space right so you can work with the given and in fact it might change your mind if you yeah. highlight it instead of hiding. yeah una pa parang, oh, my mom wants me to keep this but it's not me it's not me at all ganyan and then and then now I, it's her na. yeah yeah <laughs> parang ang galing ganyan <laughs> And she has mga pamangkin nga, and then they call me parang, ah, oh, she's the, ano, she's, she, she's the one who makes her space beautiful. Max. <laughs> <laughs> Natuwa naman ako doon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Okay. Uh, this one is a very common scene. I've been to a lot of right. condos that look like this the one. Um, collection on top. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, kahit naman kami, ganyan din yung kitchen oh, namin. Oh, <laughs> And then, um, you know, pati yung sa taas, it, uh, this one we had to overhaul it because wow. the, the cabinets were already ano na eh, parang sira na. So we really overhauled the space. But then when I asked them, when I was asking them, how do you want it to feel? Um, they want, because they're a big family, so they want to be able to accommodate everyone. But at the same time, Inside they're the not, kitchen. yeah, parang it's really a central place for them. Right. And this is a condo. Ah. It's a three-bedroom condo. They're, they have an extended family living there. But because um, their work hours are also different, they don't eat at the same time. So parang the table in the middle, parang it really wasn't being used the way it should okay. be. So okay. um, I had to come up with a way na parang um, we'll accommodate everyone, but with 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 that lifestyle in mind, na hindi sila yung sit down kind of people. To right. Eat. So the next uh, and so, picture. And so wow. Is that the there, same place? That, um, yes, it's the same place. <laughs> wow. So for this one, we moved the stove. Um, and then like towards the right, you can see I had a an island created. And, you know, it, it just made sense for them. that There's a bar on the other side of that. So there are bar stools on the other side of that. And they like cooking, but then they don't eat together. So there are only two stools in there. So parang that, that's enough for them already, even if for such a big family. Parang for them, that already serves the function. But then when they entertain, and syempre, when a condo, when you're entertaining, not everyone gets to sit down. But it's right. fine because all the food is laid there. They don't need to crowd the food, the takeout food in that small table that they used to have. So it it it's oh, it's a good enough solution for the lifestyle of the family. That's why it's very important to know who uses the space. Eh? This is that really dictates how you design the space. Right. Wow. This okay. one is a bedroom. Um it lacked um, ornaments. It lacked a lot of storage. They have a lot of things. Ito yung sinabihan ko na parang you can't put everything in cabinets. Parang you still have to declutter. So they did. Before we renovated, they decluttered. And then, so at least that also gave me an idea how much, how many, uh, how much stuff are we going to put in the cabinets after decluttering. So you can show the after shot. Ooh, there. Wow. So uh, when after they decluttered, um, it gave us an idea of how much clothes they still have left, what things they still need to be stored. Um, so yeah, so we came up with this design. So those are closets beside? Yeah, the, those are closets. The flanking the bed. Sorry? Okay. Flanking the bed. To, yes, on both yes. Sides. Okay. Actually, if if in in feng shui, this is not an I recommended. Because eh. <laughs> oh, okay. in feng shui, parang you can't have things above or around you. Eh. Parang that's parang um heavy on the head. Parang ganon or babag mababag sa kanka. But oh. this is a small condo, and the family doesn't really adhere to feng shui. So okay. I asked them first. Eh, like, are you okay with um? Uh, are you do you prefer feng shui uh, design and they said no parang we don't really consider that and this this is more attuned to their lifestyle talaga right ah uh, this is my daughter's room okay before. Um, this is like a wide shot um, when we moved in this is what it looked like uh, it's very small it's a very small room and uh, the ceiling is low so mm. I that was a negative feature for me because I didn't I didn't know how to make it feel more. I can't do anything about the size of the room, but right. I felt like you know making it look higher might you know not make it feel as claustropho claustrophobic. Okay. Wow! Oh my gosh! And there, how do you do that? I use, <laughs> I use wallpaper. Um, the bed is actually we didn't buy. The, the only thing that we bought here are the 
um the gray those um white and gray drawers and they're okay. they're so cheap those are those are from a department store lang so super cheap and um and of course the wallpaper but everything in there had been existing before in other parts of our house so the only wow. thing i added here was the wallpaper which really you know parang since the the vine pattern is right bad, right parang it opened up the space yeah, it really um, does. Yeah, and then the I changed out the wooden bed with this one. This is a hand me down from her cousin. So, uh, yeah. So the, the I changed all the furniture to white. I just added right. the drawers, and then the 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 bedside. This actually was in a different room, and I said since all the white furniture has to be in my daughter's room, so I put it there. Okay. Wow. Amazing. How big is this space actually? If you know, it's like it's like a closet, parang almost five square lang yata. It's, it's okay. really tiny. Wow, that's really amazing. Oh, okay. So, um, so now, uh, what's this part here? <laughs> ah, <laughs> about special, um, oh no, special considerations. <laughs> yeah, uh, special considerations for um our life now in twenty twenty. Yes. Um, the new normal. <laughs> yeah, the new normal. I actually have um, uh, an article in my website about um, entryways. I feel like the thing that we should um, uh, really fix right now is the entryway of our houses or condos. Because right. um, there should be like a disinfecting chamber before you enter the house. Before, I said the entryway was like... Um, if I recall how we used to uh, advise people in fixing their entries, it's something that yung, you should have things accessible there that parang wala kang malilimutan pag alis mo, oh, diba? So like, hooks or for keys or bags and a mirror for a last minute touch up, ganyan. <laughs> Pero right now, it's all about entering eh. So right. you change the perspective. Like right now, uh, when you enter the house, you know that um in in Men in Black there's like a chamber first before right, you right. enter the building disinfecting right disinfecting chamber Yeah yeah the, the disinfecting chamber na parang that that should be the spot where you shed off whatever right. uh, mask should be a hamper Yeah so hamper for syempre, I don't want it, it, hindi din to applicable in all spaces diba like if you right, live in a condo right. I don't expect you to you know remove your clothes there but like at least at the very least like for example if you're wearing a jacket there should be a place where you can easily put that na hindi mo na ipapasok sa loob jacket bag shoes so um like a shoe rack just to organize and I don't recommend like when you're going out I don't recommend that you try out different kinds of shoes but um, for <laughs> now like that like we're living in a crisis yeah. siguro stick to like one or two pairs of shoes muna para yun lang yung park doon and um everything else you can stow inside or keep in a closet right. so basically it's just having you know the things that you need when you enter very accessible oh, so look like that because my lysol tapos my <laughs> well um, what i did is i don't have a proper picture for it kasi but uh, what that, I did for our face was I have like this box like it's okay. a it's a I, I got it from H&M a long time ago um right. and that's where I have alcohol spray um uh, family guard disinfectant for the bags and the shoes and right. then there's also a small box for like uh, masks and then right. we even have I put hooks behind our door so that we can easily hang our right. um, cloth masks and our right. face shields Right. So those things are the things that we really need to consider now. I mean, hopefully, in the future, hindi na kailangan. But I know, I, you know, I, even if even if with a vaccine available soon, though, <laughs> um, I think you know, entering the house and not bringing in outside germs should be a practice we continue, even right. beyond the new normal. My friend is the head of PGH. He has a separate entrance from the garden where upon entering the back door, direct to the shower. Wow. <laughs> that's like... Um, it's a major that's hardcore shower. Yeah. No, but I have doctor friends who do that and uh, right. they use the separate entrance. But this is for people who are in right. 
you know, houses. Yes, but yes, there yes. are a lot of, and a lot of my clients are condo dwellers, and they right. can't really have, they don't, they only have one entry. Right. So, um, you know, just, you know, just thinking of the disinfecting chamber right. as your, your peg. So, yeah. have that, like, like, it's just a few feet, di ba, na parang, right. Now, and then that and then that area, pag yung mga kids po tatakbo sa'yo, parang, no, don't go to the chamber. <laughs> parang, don't hug me first and let me, you know, shed off what I need to shed off first. Yeah. I wonder how design will evolve, interior design will evolve in the next oh, few it's, it's, years. Oh, it's, you know, it's already evolved. Yeah, I mean, uh, um, even down to the materials that you use, parang, right. like, copper is on the rise now because copper is apparently an antimicrobial right, surface right. or material. So, um, you know, it's it's already changing right. in the uh, interior design and architecture, especially right. architecture. I read an article about the origin of the subway tiles in kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw that article I mean, also. Uh, off From the pandemic the of Spanish flu. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because it um it it's easier to clean. Right. Uh, so yeah, so I'm sure I'm pretty sure there will be trends that come up in the coming months because right. of the pandemic. Right. Next. Everybody's uh, reality. <laughs> yeah. Uh, working from home uh, or distance learning, homeschooling, uh, there just needs to be that space or that corner where it's, you know, it's all business. And I know this isn't possible for a lot of spaces, especially for people who live in condos. Um, but even just, you know, yung mga small folding table and just position it in such a way that you're not distracted by anything. And then maybe just fix it in a way like you, you're, if you're facing a wall, then you can put some inspiring thing on the wall that will help you. Then it's really important to carve out the space. It can't be just na nasa bed ka lang And it's like, you know, parang one for one, the, your posture is going to be affected by that. Or like, so sofa, tapos naka, naka hunch up ka over the coffee table. I think that's also not right. ideal. Right. Um, and it also doesn't put you in that working or studying mindset. And right. that's, what, that's a, yes. Sorry, what if you're, uh, like I said earlier, lots of people at home, sabay-sabay, nag-work from home and nag-distance learning. So what if you need to create like five spaces? Paano na yun? Well, that's um that's something and then you're all that talking at the same time, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, it's really you know it's it's a practice in creativity. Like it's either you work out specific times, like kame. Uh, well, shempre our situation is unique from your situation and from right, anyone right. else's, right? But like for us, um. We know that my daughter's classes will be in the morning. So my younger son, who attends toddler class, we really picked a schedule na iba okay. so that hindi na iingayan si ate or like right. you know hindi siya nagkakasabay. And we they also use the same laptop, eh, so para right. diba, they can't really use it at the same time. Um, but then there are some who do have you know older kids or like. Even them, na parang they only have one computer, and then then you know, parang it's it depends on your resources, it depends on um your space, but um if even if it's just like if you if you have no choice but you just need to use a laptop table, that's fine as long as um the space around you helps you concentrate. Right. right. You know, if if there's no choice that you really need to work from the bed. Then maybe you can splurge a bit on a, a laptop table. Yung nasusuot yung legs sa ilalim ng bed. Right. Para lang your your posture is much better, or like you're not you don't feel sleepy and kaganong ka lang on your lap, de ba? Para right. it you know having just making a few tweaks to your space right. may help you concentrate more in the new normal. Right. I saw like a Japanese. Contraption. It's actually a divider. Na parang para siyang instant cubicle. Like a screen. Ah, like a screen. Yeah, pero yeah. big lang may enclose ka no matter how small your area is. Parang may barrier. 
Yeah, yeah. Kasi sometimes you need that barrier eh, na um, you don't see the mess of the kitchen right. in front right. of you. And that all oh, that affects your um your concentration. Right. So um yeah, so I guess this picture is just, you know. So even <laughs> if arte, arte lang yung picture na yan. No matter how small the space, create the vignette para yan. <laughs> oh, create a vignette. Oh yeah, actually, like you know, parang if if it's just a corner, if if you're you have no choice but to use your sofa, then create like a small corner na it makes you feel like if if a particular scent um, invigorates right. you, for example, you have a lemon-scented candle or citrus-scented candle that helps you work, then just have it there in one corner side of your sofa and maybe a plant or something. And then, you know, just looking at it relaxes right. your mind or relaxes your right. eye. That's already uh, more than enough um, a change right. that you need to do or a, a, a styling right. thing that will help you. Right. I guess... Cues like scent or a new color in a different part of the room can help you make you feel like you're stepping into another place. Yes. Even yeah, if you just exactly. walk five steps. Even if it's just even if even if you don't walk, if you just face that parang part <laughs> lang parang okay, the, the flowers are there, everything's right in the world. <laughs> parang, right, right. Uh, those are big things, na eh. Right. Okay. Oh, and like like now, people are growing yeah, things at home. And renaissance. Yeah, and it's you know it's angaling kasi worldwide. Eh. It's right. you know it's not just a Philippine thing. It's yeah. worldwide, and it really shows that people need something natural in their house. They and and the the th- the good thing about this spice is that plants have a so an air filtering effect right. so for people who really don't have access to parks i have a friend who has been stuck in her condo cuz she's pregnant so she really doesn't want to go out so she's been stuck in her condo for 5 months she hasn't seen the sunrise nor the sunset pero parang you know she has plants you know what little sunlight that filters into her room it's already occupied by her plant babies and parang that you know that helps her and that right. even caring for a living thing that doesn't bite back <laughs> or like doesn't have a tantrum but but you have to still nurture it right. you have to maintain it parang that also you know that appeals to your you know I guess to human beings that you need to care for something right. especially for people who are alone alam mo yun? parang yeah. I have a friend he's all alone in his condo so parang ngayon plantito na siya <laughs> kasi parang <laughs> I need the plants. Eh? I need to show someone or something that I care for that thing. So um, it's yeah. it's also a nice thing that plants also invigorate a space. Right. The way when you just add a plant somewhere, parang it already makes you feel inspired. And, and it's also a nice thing that to have in either a work from home desk or like even a bedroom. But I'm just having a plant there. You know that the air in those few square meters is cleaner than the air somewhere right. else. Um, and it, it's a plus if you grow edibles. Like I've grown, I'm not a plantita. I mean, I have a like black thumb, but Me too. <laughs> I have I have grown um, herbs, for example, basil and a wow, tomato and from basil. things. For, well. Hindi, hindi super healthy yung ano ko ngayon, yung basil ko ngayon. But, but there's parang, parang meron siyang ano eh, may nadala yung, I won't call bird yata or something. So parang may mga pests. But, you know, I've grown it from something I bought from the supermarket. And that's possible, you know. You know you you first germinate it in a cup of water and then you wait for it to grow roots before you pot it in the uh, soil. So that's also, you know, it's a plus because you can also eat it, di ba? Right. And I'm a big... I'm a big fan of flowers. So obviously. Yes. So um, whether they're real or faux, I, I have no judgment with faux flowers. I have a lot. I mean, I use a lot in my job. Yeah. So I do have a lot of faux flowers. I collect them. I try to make them look as real as possible. But, you know, just seeing them in a corner really brightens me up. Brightens right. up that space. And... um. Even if it's a throw pillow, diba? a throw pillow with with something natural on it, it changes the look. I mean, before we just had blue pillows there. That's our bedroom on the right. 
before we just had blue pillows, but sometimes if I want to cheer myself up, I just change out throw pillows, something right. that's more natural, more, you know, more colorful, then that already makes me happy. Where's Bubble the best <laughs> place to find uh, fall flowers that look real and are oh not Oh my gosh. Expensive? Um, <laughs> well, you know what? Expensive because it's relative. Because <laughs> it, faux flowers can also be expensive. But to me, right. parang, kumaga, they're an investment because they right. last forever. They don't die. <laughs> diba? But, um, syempre, iba pa rin yung beauty of real flowers. But then there are nice uh, faux flowers actually from Landmark. That's like, and the way they fix um, their flower department, their flower section, it's like a flower market. It's like a real flower market. So it's just, it's so much fun shopping for flowers there. Rustans also has um, nice but very expensive yung sa Rustans. Um, I know there are some stores in like you know, Divisoria or um, the Pitan. They also have like faux flowers. But then of course, who who doesn't know about Dangwa? I mean, that's right. the bagtakan of flowers. Right. And I don't know how they are right now. I lang ko they open during GCQ. But, um, you know, if you like, if you can already go out and they're also open for business, then diba? that's also a fun trip to take. Right. Right. So and all even these- just, you know, even whatever, whatever, if you have access to a garden, just cuttings of leaves, I do that. I have a cellum in our, um, our front yard. And I sometimes when I just want to cheer up a corner beside the window, I just cut. And, you know, cellums, they last. Salem cuttings last me months I mean, in just a vase of water. And I, I forget about them and they, they live. So right. just that thing, it's, it's, you don't need to buy. Right. So all these things, uh, Camille teaches in a Refresh Your Home course. Yes. It's, it's called Refresh Your Home on a Tiny or Zero Budget. So it's a home styling course that, where I teach um, actually, everything I talked about here and also very specific styling techniques on how to um, to create those meaningful vignettes. So those are the things that I teach here, like how to form, uh, you know, how to form those vignettes on your shelves or the table. Um, yeah, I teach that in that course there. So just go to that link. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what has been the feedback of your clients whose homes you refreshed? Did their lives change? What are some of the fulfilling... I mean, I hope so. <laughs> I hope it has. Um, I mean, of course, I've gotten positive feedback. Um, siempre, uh, especially if it... Um, you know, like the kitchen that you we showed earlier, that all brown kitchen with all the clutter, and then the... Uh, we change it to an all-white kitchen. Parang it really, parang yung matay, na, na lumalaki yung mata when you enter it kasi parang right. it changed everything for them. I mean, you know, you will only find out if um, how you renovate a space, you will only find out after a few months of living in it if you, if it's really working for you or not. But so far, my clients have, um, you know, they've told me na it's, it's, um, it's a space that they now enjoy using and right. it's working more to how they live. Whereas right. before, parang they were just uh, making do with that right. space and because they didn't know how to fix it. I actually have a client from last year. Uh, we overhauled her kitchen. And ever since, ever since that time, last year, for over a year now, until now, her kitchen has been spotless because... Parang now, after decluttering, after doing everything, all the steps, no? And then we renovated her space. Parang now everything has its, everything is in its proper it's space. Happy. And she loves, she loves to cook. Before, cooking was such a chore. Kasi, right. it's just, parang for her, parang she enjoys cooking. But then, bakit ang hirap magluto? <laughs> it's, it was really the space. Right. And now, she enjoys cooking. Her children now help. Her children know where to put things. And, you know, parang just that refresh, it really affects right. the way you move in the space. Wow. And she was actually featured in, um, I think, a Reliving article. She was talking about 
uh, how the kitchen now is such a, a place of joy for her. And that, you know, that warms my heart because I was part of that story and I helped her right. come to that, come to this uh, conclusion for her, if you will, na the kitchen is now her happy place, especially now that, you know, they're quarantined with her family. It's not anymore a place that gives her stress. Wow, you're like a design Mary Poppins. <laughs> 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 so I love that movie though. <laughs> I hope so. Oh. I mean, there I have had clients who, you know, they're they're very hard to please, but then my my goal really is not to again, it's not really to create an award winning design. Right. My goal is really to create a space that works for you. A, right. a place that gives you joy. And that's that's really my philosophy na. I want to create a house or a home for you that you enjoy living in because I know so many people who don't enjoy their own homes. So and that's, that's something that we need to do something about. <laughs> right, especially now. Thank you so yeah. much, Camille. Thank, Thank you, you for, for having me. Us. Now we're all going to make an effort to create the best background <laughs> possible for <laughs> the best life we can live in this. Yes. Exciting times and hopefully beyond. Thank you. Thank you, Mirza. A part two and a part three. So many people. <laughs> wow. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you soon, I hope. You too. Bye, everyone. This has been Ask Miss Mears, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.